May 2006. Tom Chumley and his friend Carl Flash Tunder were out walking at dusk. They came across a gang of poachers. One man, Robert Enjoyer, was shot and fatally wounded. Tom Chumley, my cousin, was charged with murder and has been in prison ever since. But Tom has two big problems. This is not the first time he's been accused of killing a black man. He's also the heir to an immense colonial estate in a country where land reform is an explosive political issue. I want to make a personal film about one of the families stuck in the middle of this tragedy and to discover how much this trial is also about a country dealing with an unresolved colonial past. My father and Tom's father were stepbrothers, remnants of another era. Yeah. Although we'd never met, my childhood was very similar to Tom's. Being out in the bush was heaven, but life at home was a different story. I chose to live in England. After 26 years, I returned to make amends with my dad, but instead found myself sucked into Tom's trial. It was a journey that would last for over two years. It's a very high profile case because the Delamere's are the leading family in Kenya. The grandfather came in 98, 06, something like that, and was given a lot of land by the British government and did a lot for the country. And to have the youngest member, Tom Chumley, facing a murder charge is worldwide news. Tom and his friend, rally driver Carl Flash Tunda, were out on this remote part of Tom's estate looking for a site for Flash to build a home. According to Tom, they came across a gang of poachers with their dogs. Tom claims he only shot at the dogs. But one of the men, Robert Enjoyer, was wounded. Tom called the police and arranged and paid for Enjoyer to be rushed to hospital. He later died from a single gunshot wound to his buttock. Both Tom and Flash were arrested. They were locked up in police custody. Flash was released without charge. Tom was charged with murder. Unbelievably, Tom had been arrested only one year before this for shooting and killing another intruder on his farm. At the time, the area surrounding Tom's farm, Soisambu, was engulfed in a tide of violent crime. On April the 18th, 2005, some of Tom's workers were held up at gunpoint at the farm slaughterhouse in an apparent robbery. Tom heard what was happening, grabbed his pistol, and ran to the rescue. The man was holding a pistol, telling that it was full loaded, it, has, it had 16 bullets, which was enough for all, all of us. After an exchange of fire, Tom allegedly killed a man, Samson Olesasina. The murder charge was dropped by the Attorney General, and Tom was acquitted without going to trial. Anywhere in the world where someone kills two people within one year raises eyebrows. It just doesn't happen, does it? Even worse, Olis Sassina was working undercover for the Kenya Wildlife Service. He was also a Maasai. It looked to many as though the wealthy white man was above the law. 